Welcome back to the Notre Dame Anti-Dynasty, where Notre Dame today goes on the road to Oklahoma. The Sooners not played Notre Dame since Season 1. They were actually the first win for the Irish in the Anti-Dynasty. That was a neutral site game in Kansas City. Now they play in Norman. The Irish are coming off of their first win ranked as a top 10 team in the series. It's kind of sad, but Oklahoma has horses. That's pretty cool. And now they're running out on the field in a non-standard manner. There's a fake horse. He's going all around. It's a sports center sign, not sponsored. All right, so the Irish are going to start us off. And Tommy Davis, making his second start, finds Jaden Thomas. Good play. Good start for Notre Dame. And then if you like that, well, you'll like this as well. Jabron Payne, good run, picks up 15. Strong start for the Irish. Third down and 10. No problemo. Eli Raradon gets past the defense. Now on first down, Tommy Davis is going to pull a Tyler Buckner and not pitch the ball. I don't know why they do that. Second down, they're going to try a sweep and lose more yardage. And because of that, they're going to have to settle for this here field goal, which of course is good because they never miss a field goal. First and 10 for Oklahoma. They're off to a good start. Good pass to Anderson there. First down, very next play. Sims is going to roll out. And what follows is one of the stupidest throwing decisions I have ever made. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if I was thinking when I decided to throw that. Anyway, uh, Lee, well Davis, sorry, pitches it to Jabron Payne, and he's got some yardage. Good yardage at that. Already having himself a day. First down, handoff, Jabron Payne. Look at this. Great blocking, great running, absolute dominant play. That is exactly what you are looking for as a coach. I mean, that play was perfection. So now Notre Dame is up by 10. Oklahoma should probably respond. They decide to take a sack to end the quarter instead. So to start the second, Sims, he's going to find his man Anderson, who gets past the defense a little bit, picks up 22. Very next play, they're going to send him deep. And Sims lunches it and that one's called a catch. They rush to the line, and Sims promptly takes a sack. Not exactly what they were thinking on that one. Second down and gold, though. Sims throws it, and it's picked. I swear, these guys have, like, the greatest reach, those middle linebackers. Anyway, so Notre Dame gets the ball back, and uh, Tommy Davis, he's going to keep on delivering dots to Jaden Thomas. I mean, that was a beautiful arc. Third down and six, a chance to get off the field for the Oklahoma defense. No. That's Lorenzo Dawson, and he is just chased down. Sorry, Jake Dawson. I'm mixing up my names. And catching him doesn't matter because it's still a touchdown. Only the TD goes to Jabron Payne instead. So the Sooners are now down by 17. Second down and 16, good catch. Gibson picks up the first down. you got to have those solid plays. A little bit later, Sims over the middle, saw Chuck, nice spin move, picks up the first down. And since he caught it well, he's going to run it well, because he's got some good blocks. I mean, the O-line there, hmm, nice. Second down and goal, they're going to drop back from the one-yard line. Like, what kind of a stupid play call is that? Just run the ball. Third down and goal, now you have to throw. It's caught by Gibson, but he's a couple yards short. But the Sooners are going to go for it. It's all or nothing, and the read option is the most broken play in the game, aside from four verticals, perhaps, and it works to perfection here. So, we will go into halftime. It's a 10-point Notre Dame lead, but I have noticed holes in their defense. Kind of been getting bailed out by bad throws from Oklahoma. So, if the Sooners can clean up here, maybe they can make the comeback. First play is a good catch by Anderson. Third down and 10, though. Chance for Notre Dame to get off the field. No. Working that sideline. Now, Oklahoma keeps it. Sims on the QB keeper. Doesn't slide. I'd rather he did. First down and goal. Sims drop back. Quick throw. Easy touchdown to Luke Burton. They're going to bring this within a score. Good job by Oklahoma. And now Tommy Davis will again refuse to pitch the ball. And on 2nd down and 13, they're going to run a sweep play again. They have a great formula 
for losing a ton of yards on first and second down. Now with third and 16, Oklahoma playing back defense. Chaz Wesley almost made them pay for it, but Oklahoma gets the ball back. Little play action game. And look at that, working the sideline again, doing incredibly well right now. Third down and three, bam, Anderson again. Nick Anderson has been all over the place today. Now another third down, and they're going to call this one short. And Notre Dame is celebrating, but they're going to put this one under review. They're actually going to review the spot. As you look right there, you can see that ball. It looks across the line to me, and indeed, they will reverse it. It's a first down, and soon enough, it's a fullback dive for the touchdown. Oklahoma has come all the way back from 17 down. But we've seen the Irish drive down the field, and we've seen them be stupid. So which one will it be here? I honestly don't know, because they're capable of anything. Bam, right there. Wayne Perry, first down. I don't know what version of the offense we're going to see here. Third down and seven. They need something, and it's a lob. Terrible pass. What in the world was that? Gentry Williams picking up the pick. Wow, that was bad. Second down and three. First down would essentially end it. Sims has all the room in the world. Slides down, but there's not quite enough time to kill it all with knees, so Oklahoma will instead run the ball in for a touchdown. Remember... Each possession that they win by is another bonus that I take hits on in the sliders. But Notre Dame not giving up. Wayne Perry takes some hits, but hey, he fights through it. The Irish will fight until the bitter end. They are Irish after all. And this bomb downfield is picked off again, Gentry Williams. And oh boy, receiver didn't do anything. Star player can't get it. That looks like a lineman. He doesn't do anything. And Williams will not get caught. A pick six. That was something like 90 plus yards. Over 95 yards on that pick return. Great play. And in case you had any doubts about the results of this game, another interception again to Gentry Williams. He's having himself quite the quarter, the third pick of the quarter. And now Sawchuck will take the ball, and he's going to fumble it, but the quarterback picks it up, of all people. And I guess they're going for a little something extra. I don't know how that one was caught. Honestly, I thought it would get picked, but it's not. First down, Lee Sims will take the sack. Remember, if Oklahoma gets the touchdown, it's a 25-point win from an unranked team. While Notre Dame is ranked in the top 10, that's one of those special bonuses that would trigger so Oklahoma going for that one. Sims got his man again the sideline. They love working it. 13 seconds. A couple downs to use. Sims to the end zone. Touchdown, Luke Burton. And with that, well, I suppose with the extra point, but it doesn't matter. Oklahoma rattles off 42 unanswered after being down 17-0, activating another bonus I guess you could call it and Tommy Davis was fine for a while Jabron Payne was great for the majority of the game I don't know what happened to him they should have kept on running it with him but he did wind up having negative receiving yards which is kind of funny if I'm being honest Trey Roberson had himself a day sacks were not scarce I mean they had what six sacks on the day and two interceptions as well and they capitalized on those two picks, too. I, it, the defense just didn't come through. They got a couple turnovers. They got some sacks, but it was too little. And uh, when you give up 28 points in the fourth, you tend to lose games. So, with that humiliation on Notre Dame's record, they go into the Michigan game. It is at home. I hope to see you there. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And have a nice day.